Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Collins Family Urban and Homestead. Today is just a quick update. Um, today was a day of, you know, weather dropped where it's kind of cold and it was rainy all weekend and stuff. I would had plans. I get on my job, I get every other weekend, I get a three-day weekend. And so I get Fridays off every other weekend. This was one of those three-day weekends. I had plans of doing a whole lot of stuff, but uh, with this weather, it completely changed that. And this is why we don't plant before Easter is because usually just before Easter, some kind of cold snap comes through. So I kind of wanted to show a couple of things. One, we're looking at the duck's pen back here. The, I showed you last week the fix I did for the pool, and it's doing just fine. Um, that, that seems to have definitely worked, and it's been doing great. But one of the things I wanted to go ahead and show you, um, if you've never raised ducks or never had ducks, one of the things they do is they stick their beaks in the mud all the time. Um, like you can see, like right here behind me, right in front of the gate, they, they'll actually stick their heads through the fence and dig down into the, into the mud there. And they'll do it all through the, um, the pen also. They'll dig their uh, beaks down and get it all in mud and stuff. So uh, they get their beaks and stuff really muddy. Let me show you what they do to their water. I'll take you inside there and show you what's going on in there. So this water was clean this morning. When I, when I left and had to go for work, that was, that was clean. And these two things over here were both completely clean. And when you dump these out, you can just kind of see all the mud and stuff that's in there. That's from them cleaning their beaks out. And that's how they get so muddy. You kind of see all the... So that is one of the reasons they talk about ducks being dirty. It's because they're, they go through the water and it's not even so much that they're swimming in or anything like that. It's just a matter of they clean their, their bills out in the, in the water and it messes it all up. That was all clean this morning. And it'll be, and I, and I need to, you know, if I were home more, I could clean that out more often. I, if, I, if I'm here on a weekend, I can clean that out at noon and then again at, you know, five or six o'clock in the evening. So they can easily get cleaned out a couple of times a day. So that's kind of one of the things I wanted to show you. I'll take along, um, let me finish cleaning up this water, giving them new water, and then we'll go, uh, See how many eggs we got with the chickens, and it'll be a pretty quick video today. Now, if you can see back there, they've all got clean water now, and they're sticking their bills. Well, now they're up underneath the duck house. You can't really see them. I can hear them. There's water down underneath the duck house where it's spilt over. They're dump, uh, doing their bills into that right now, and getting them all muddy, and then they'll come around over to the um, to the water and they'll duck their bills in the water and by the end of the night when I go to put everybody up that will be dirty again I'll end up changing it out by the end of the night so anyway that's the ducks let's go check and see uh, how many chickens how many eggs I got with the chickens okay big boy you're gonna have to move yeah we've given him the name big boy First spot, you lift up the thing. Ah, and that's the first thing.
Well, we got two eggs today, and uh, out of three hens, so they're doing good. Got everything going there. I can still hear the ducks going crazy over here. Let me turn around and see if you can see this. See how muddy her beak is? <laughs> now the other chore I need to do, which I'll probably take care of tomorrow, is I'll go ahead and clean that pool out. Um, that'll finish up the stuff for the ducks this weekend. So let's go inside. Go take, I'll go put the eggs up and uh, give the two week update on the uh, tomatoes and see how they're going. Like I said, this could be a quick update today. So let's go inside. So today is day 14 since planting the uh, tomatoes. And they are looking good. Most of them already got their second set of leaves or definitely not just true leaves anymore. And they are all doing really well. So, like I said, today's uh, 14 days since I planted the seeds on those tomatoes. This was what I was expecting the first time around. And uh, for whatever reason, that, would, that one didn't work. These are working just great. Um, look forward to probably a little bit after Easter, actually, seeing if I get them in the ground, I need to start... Um, getting them outside and harden, harden, hardening them off so they can go out into the garden and uh, get stuff going up. and that'll be a project for starting next week I got some stuff in the garden I need to do there's a lot of projects on the list this weather and the temperatures this weekend just kind of put all that stuff on hold so God bless have a great weekend don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you like this kind of stuff Leave a comment. Let me know if you think I'm doing something wrong or um, if I can do, do stuff better. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff I can do better. I'm not claiming to be an expert on anything. All I'm doing is taking you along on my journey and showing the progress. So, God bless. Have a great week. And we'll see you on the next video.